What is that? A ghost? And the moon? So this is Grayson's new favorite book. It's a Halloween magazine. <laughs> um, my mom brought me this magazine. It's a Lillian Vernon magazine um, because this is where we got Grayson's Halloween uh, basket and it, they personalize it with his name and everything. We got him a pumpkin and we're gonna have this new baby and he needs a Halloween basket too, even though he's gonna be like a month old <laughs> um, when Halloween comes. And who knows if Halloween is gonna even happen because of coronavirus, but anyway. So my mom brought me this magazine so I could look through it and pick which ones. Grayson kind of ripped it a little bit. I mean, magazines are kind of flimsy, but they have different kinds. They have skeleton spiders. Grayson has, oops. Grayson has this one. He has the pumpkin. I was thinking of doing the ghost for this new baby. Um, this is, <laughs> this is ripped from Grayson, but they have an owl, a cat, and then they have like different styles. So they have like square ones. These are other characters that are really cute too. I like the bat and the vampire is cute too. So Grayson loves Halloween. And so he likes looking through this magazine and he thinks, <laughs> he thinks this is pretty cool. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Um, I was supposed to vlog this past weekend when I went to Cincinnati and I vlogged like talking about it and I vlogged like us being in the airplane and then I didn't vlog my sister's place or my brother's place like what am I doing I don't know I just totally spaced about it and then I didn't want to do the dinner because that's awkward so yeah that was kind of a boring vlog but today is my 39 week doctor's appointment um before that I have been cleaning the house. Um, I need to make a vlog and update you guys on everything we've done on the house. We are finally finished with renovations. We are so excited about that. And so we are getting ready to take pictures and then we go house hunting. So I'm just cleaning and getting ready for these pictures to be taken, um, which is kind of hard to do when you're 39 weeks pregnant, but whatever. And I'm hoping we can get these pictures done before I give birth. It all kind of depends on how today's appointment goes. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on what we find out at the doctor. Hey guys, so I just got out of my 39 week appointment and so I just wanted to tell you guys how it went. Um, I was late, super late getting there. I just left my house way too late, but it was okay, they didn't say anything about it. Anyway, so I checked in, they took my temperature, I left a urine sample. They took my height and weight. Uh, weight was like, gosh, I don't remember. I think it was 152-ish. Um, and my blood pressure I was a little worried about because I was racing to get here. So I was trying to breathe deep <laughs> and be calm. And it was good. It was like 114 over 76 or something. Like it was a great blood pressure. I was so happy about that. Um, because the worst thing would be if I had high blood pressure and then they were like, oh, you need to go to the hospital right now and be induced. Like, I just didn't want that to happen. We've got too much going on right now. <laughs> Baby needs to stay in. So they also asked me if I wanted to do a flu shot because um, they got them in now. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do that or not because um, I got the flu shot with this pregnancy back in January. So I was like, is it okay to get two flu shots on the same pregnancy? And the nurse was like, you know, I don't even know. I'll ask your doctor and let you know. And I was like, okay. So I went into the room. I had to get undressed because we were going to check me. And um, my doctor came in and she said it was fine for me to get the flu shot and th that they recommend it because then, you know, it all cross over to the baby. She said it takes about a week for it to like cross over and get absorbed by the placenta so hopefully I'll still be pregnant a week from now um so I was fine with getting it whatever and um she measured my belly I'm measuring on track heartbeat was like 146 147 so that was good he was kicking um and he, usually he's on the left side where we get the heartbeat but this time he was on the right side he must have switched and moved 
but that was all great and then she checked me and I didn't want to be super dilated because I want him to stay in longer I know I'm crazy but I just didn't I didn't want to be too far along and be induced so she checked me I thought for sure I would be still a zero and I was actually at one and a half centimeters and she said my cervix was soft so that was really encouraging and exciting. Um, and so she was like, so it's basically up to you. I'm fine with whatever. We can make another appointment for a week from now and check you and go from there. Or if you want, we can set an induction date. What would you like to do? And I said, I wanna go one more week. Let's make one more appointment and then we'll go from there. And she was like, I'm totally fine with that. So that was good. That was the outcome I wanted. I want one more appointment. So I set another appointment for um, next Tuesday and that will be my last doctor's appointment. And that'll be a day before I, my due date, a day before 40 weeks. And then I'm hoping to make an induction day if I still have not had him for either like September 14th or 15th, somewhere around there. So it's super exciting. It's September 1st, it's crazy we're already in September. This year has just been going on for forever. Um, so my doctor left, the nurse came in to give me the shot and actually she was really good because I barely felt that thing. Usually, you know, you feel shots here and there, but this one I really didn't feel. And she was like, it's cold, we just pull out of the fridge. So I'm sorry if you feel that. I didn't feel hardly anything. I mean, I felt the poke, but that was it, so. That's good, baby will absorb that. They say it's really important to get a flu shot this year just because of coronavirus and trying to protect yourself. So, I mean, use your best judgment, but I did go ahead and get it done and I made an appointment. And now I am on my way back to go see Grayson and my brother who's watching Grayson again for the third time in the row. I owe him a lot. <laughs> um, it's really nice that he was able to come and uh, babysit Grayson for me. So that's all for now. I might vlog a little bit more um, this evening. If not, this might be the end of the vlog. I'm not sure. But thanks for tuning in and hopefully baby stays in. <laughs>